Okay, so there's uh, this is my there's my uh, Darwin. This is a a prototype Mendel that I modified. I modified the lead screw setting. I modified the uh, parts right here. See, this has uh, a threaded setup, and I wanted to show you guys. A lot of people say four millimeters a second is all these can do. Well, here's almost eighty. I don't have any lead stops on here, but if uh, that's not impressive, uh, let me know. So, anyway, you can go uh, up to about 80 millimeters a second. Uh, this axis has not even been lubed or anything, and it's still in the development phase. This board is just so you don't see to the bottom. But uh, you can see how it's constructed. It's basically just a, a level shaft, a set of plastic pieces cushioned. Uh, and the way it's machined is it's cushioned on fingers, and it, it allows it. Uh, the other thing too I want to show you: it, there's no play. There's almost there's I can feel move a little bit, but there's really no play. So here I'll show you it uh, once with uh, with. Uh, Now, again, I don't have any, uh, I don't have any, uh, stops on here, so it goes a little bit far when it goes forward, but, um, again, I think one of the other things I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn this around back here. The other thing, too, uh, so along with using a really, really good, um, stepper motor that, uh, has a chopper circuit. This is a hundred and twenty dollar uh, controller. This is the real deal. All right. So these are 1.6 volt motors. They're overpowered to uh, 18 volts. So this Mendel runs at 18 volts, and it doesn't matter because the current is controlled by this. The voltage just allows it to overcome things faster. So this is why this is 20 times faster than the McGuire. Now you noticed here. I don't have a bracket yet for the the uh, bearing I have back here, but I'm, I'm machining that, and that will make it a little more stable at higher speeds. The other thing that's important to note and why this works so well yep. is because I have a group of washers right here as mass, so it takes time for this to get up to speed, and it takes time for this to slow down, and this mass helps it overcome any resistance whenever there's a binding, so it just gets through it. So anyway, there's there's one axis of my uh, Mendel uh, that I'm selling for 350 This is actually an improved version uh, that I'm working on. That, but uh, there it is for you all to see. Threaded, cheap, and it just needs the stops implemented. And like I said, I think I, when I designed this, I... Uh, there's a little bit too much resistance up here. I'm going to put that in the back because the uh, mass back there uh, actually is where the power is transferred when the motor doesn't have enough power because that's that's the mass that's spinning and uh, it won't stop instantly. So when there's a bind, it's what gets it through it. All right, well, there's there it is. There's uh, it's, it, this one's almost uh, completed. This is my prototype. I have ones that I'm selling. But I had people asking me questions, say, hey, you really don't got this. Well, I do. All right.